How are you feeling, Horatio? Oh, a bit tired, you know, Andrew. It's the end of term, Horatio. You've got no work. You should be dancing. Hello and welcome to the Gordon Kerwin Show. This is our 20th show. This uh, is our 20th show. We, we were wrong last time. We said it was our 20th show last time. Yep. The big 2-0. It's been a... It's, it's been quite a it's journey. It's been quite a it's journey. Been, we, we've made some friends on the way. We've, we've lost some friends on the way. We've lost a lot of friends. A lot. We've lost more friends than we've made. Definitely. 100%. 100%. Michael's here. Hello. As Alfie's always. here. Wagwan. Did you, miss, did you just miss me last week? Oh, it was uh, tough, Michael. Yeah. You were away really last tough. week. Oh, 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 rinsed again. How does it feel? Great. Yeah, it feels lovely to be back. Good. Yeah, I know, because it's shaping up interestingly for season four, because we've had so many guests in this season. So many. There's a lot of competition, actually. There's a lot of competition. I think, it's been like a merry-go-round. If you will. If you will, Alfie. And I am. If you will. All right. Well, uh, <laughs> um, should we should we kick it off with um, we got like a I know we talked about it quite a bit on the show, but the EU referendum coming up. Can I preface this quickly? Do it, mate. Uh, because I have slightly uh, I've got some hay fever. Yes. And I'm just oh. I'm just saying, please don't laugh at my voice if it's slightly. Mad. I'll just be sneezing away like here as well. My hay yeah, fever exactly. is demolishing me today. Yeah, because the thing I get a little dreadful. bit of hay fever as well, but I have a cold all year. And then as soon as the cold goes, it's get hot enough fever. to hay fever. I have about like a hot two- enough to hay fever. Hot enough to hay fever with <laughs> golden curl. <laughs> uh, uh, because they, I have that two week wash. respite where it's not t- cold enough for a cold, but it's not yeah, warm, warm enough, enough for a hay, hay fever. fever. Right. I've never those had those hay fever before. You are oh, you're missing out, Alf. Alfie. Alfie, you're missing out. I think I've got it a little bit today, but I'm not sure if it's just me crying. Yeah, it probably because my eyes keep watering, but I'm not sure if it's just the pain seeping out. Alfie sporadically bursts into tears. Yeah. That's just a trait of his. Well, yeah. I, th- I think me and Michael are going through some significant hay fever today because we were just sitting on the floor of an allotment. Oh, yeah, we went well, to Beats and Bars. Oh, yeah, it's Beats and Bars, which can you, someone explain yeah. what that is to me? So, Beats I know, and- but it's for the viewers. <laughs> <laughs> Beats so, what's this Beats and Bars? Radio. <laughs> Beats and Bars is simply like a sort of spoken word music. Like, it's just sort of a performance thing that happens in Leamington usually, or it was in the allotment today. A lot of people who do the Allotment Society yeah. crossover. So, like, people just go and perform Singing. songs and poems and stand up or whatever. It was a very Merriment indeed. Yeah. university moment. Oh, really? Sitting, on the f- sitting in a field surrounded by shrubbery with whilst people listening with to people with wa- wavy garms on. Wavy garms. Yeah, There's the, a lot the, of long the hair. The works. Yeah, guitar. The Works. The works indeed. It was nice though. It was, I enjoyed yeah, it. It was almost. Nice. It was like. It was like a chilled out version of "Shoot from the Lip." Oh, oh. oh great radio <laughs> lip. See, oh. Michael's learning. He's a just segway. picking up the radio. Well, He's just you, about to leave in France. <laughs> Well, yeah. this is your penultimate episode, isn't it? This is my penultimate episode. And let's talk oh about God, shoot, from shoot from the lip. Okay, so there's a lot going on. So yeah. if you do, let me set this up because if you remember, uh, we had shoot. Uh, Michael's in the shoot for lip heat, which he won, destroyed twelve people to get into the final. Ooh. Which uh, let's he say up. So is that them. four people in the final? Four of us in the final. Yeah. Um, all win, win, win individual heats. We all were the winners of our individual heats. Okay. And we each had to perform two poems. Mm -hmm. Top two got into the final of the final. And then there was one winner. One winner. And that winner was... (laughs) Emma Welton. Yeah, (laughs) (laughs) No, no, no. Joking, she was amazing. Emma was was incredible. incredible. She was incredible. I came second. Michael did come second, to be fair, and absolutely It was a really good event, but people kept clicking, which was really interesting. No, I I like Why are they clicking? You you were on the fence. In the middle of someone's poem. You don't want to make too much noise. Basically, yeah, it's instead of, you're showing your appreciation, but obviously you can't clap. And you don't ruin someone's glow. It was very crab-like, though. No, it was not it In a room with a of crab, and I had no clue. I thought there was just three random There was these strong... <laughs> you thought that was just like an issue before. that they. Yeah, I thought uh, they. Uh, he turns yeah. around. Are you guys all right? <laughs> <laughs> not, not I, I can't. Like, am I clicking? It's like the waiters are going at light anxious. speed. Yeah. Like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> but uh, no, I, but I like it because it drives. Because when someone makes a particularly good point, yeah. you just hear. Lo- it's, it's a nice chorus of clicks. I, you don't. You don't make a point that makes someone laugh, but you make them click. Yeah. There's you a difference there. The girl who won had this amazing feminist poetry that made as a man me feel really guilty, which I think it was meant to do. Yeah. And then. There was all these women sitting around me clicking, and it just felt so. <laughs> yeah, it so felt like there was a spotlight on me, as if I was the one causing all, all these pain. The, the as if the I was literally the patriarchy. Well, that's, and that's, people were like, "Do you like that?" Out, yeah, mate. that's why. I'm not making fun of it because it was. That's why it was such a good poet. Yeah, it was. But I like the clicking. You I didn't personally... have many clickers following my. Because his just friend group wasn't really a bit clicker. Confused and clicker. I, personally... I got. I got. A, I got but then I was comfortable later on. Poem. I started yeah. to ride the clicks. I even started clicking my myself. It's like really? inappropriate. I heard you times. click once. Yeah. I heard you click once. Yeah. yeah you, I, you I personally wouldn't. I couldn't bring myself to click. No. I don't know why. 
but I, I just didn't. Do you think it's I don't, personal I, issues? Maybe. Yeah. Is this is turning into is another it, therapy show. Is it the show, divorce it? again? I think it is. <laughs> it's the divorce again. <laughs> My inability to click <laughs> in a public area. Oh. But I think the clicking brought the something good. Sync noises. But anyway. Micah was very good. Thank and you. Guys. It was a shame. Yeah. It, was, it was a shame. It's, but yeah. no, I had, I had a wonderful time. And shout out to all the finalists and all the competitors but this year. You came like second out of like 48. Yeah. Second the best, as I like to say, in the schoolyard. They do. First the worst. That's embarrassing for her. It just implies. Let's get on the show. And, and third, the man with the hairy chest. No, first of all, second Fourth best, third, the man with hairy chest. Well, yeah. I've got a hairy chest as well. Like so you're, so, so you're you winning, winning chicken dinner. <laughs> <laughs> um, Michael Chang's messaging already. Oh, oh ready? Right. Here we go. Off the bat. Right. Was he? Was, I, I didn't listen to last week's show, but I hear it's like subtitled Michael Chang. So yeah, no, that was part. Of the, it was a huge. Last week's show was just let's read off messages from the screen. Yeah, see what happens. Fair, fair. And, great show, um, great show. Absolutely, one of our best. But we had all the, all the, all the regulars were in. Yeah, we had uh, the Shearman. We had <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, uh, pa- pa- Captain Pirate Factual. Captain, Captain Pirate Factual, actually, if you're out there, because I do enjoy your Yeah, messages. no, seriously. If you could, could, one, one every show would be great. Did Karl Marx message in? Yeah, yeah, Marx is there. Marx, the whole, the, it's the a bit tragic now. He he doesn't have much t- time to d- things to do in his own time. He yeah. just has to yeah. listen to our show. <laughs> well, he is dead, so yeah, yeah it's true. <laughs> is All right, he Michael. done? All right, Michael, is he bring really? the tone down. <laughs> is he ever dead? Is he? Jeremy Corbyn looks quite funny, doesn't he? <laughs> Can you please explain that? Please expand. Because most of the time I ignore Alfie when I don't get it, but let's just go down and exp- let's try and explain what you actually meant by that. Karl Marx. Yeah. Jeremy Corbyn. Yeah. Old. Yeah. yeah. Leftist. Yeah. Yeah. Hate people making money. Yeah. So why did you say Jeremy Corbyn looks quite weird? Because we were just saying, is Karl Marx dead? Yeah. Jeremy Corbyn looks quite weird. Uh, because Marx looks weird as well. Because so you're starting uh, a new topic of conversation. Yeah. Or you're, uh, you've, got, you've got to tell us when, yeah. you're when, when, you're, when, you're, when you're doing one of your... When you're you suggesting know, that Jeremy Corbyn may well be Karl Marx, we need as much... Yeah. Because and we, we know you, we, we're probably out of anyone who's going to get it. It's probably going to be us. God knows what the listeners are going to think. God. So, God. so, so, Michael Chang has messaged in today. Well, oh no, because I got some messages before you say from Michael Chang. We were convinced it was Matthew Braxton, who's the ho- host of Tennis Academy. Okay. And we had one of the Tennis Academy people in, and we were questioning, and he said no. And then we found out Matthew Braxton wasn't even listening to that show and was messaging in. So I don't think it is Matthew Braxton. <sighs> I can't. I I can't do this anymore, it's becoming, Michael. It's becoming tired. Michael, seriously, we need to know who you are. At least tell us on the final. I'm show. here. This is this is the uh, last. Oh God! <laughs> so it's the like, last time we'll um discuss all of this kind of stuff on the show fully because yeah. we did enough of that. Yeah, last, last show. show. But for just one more message for the Shearman. Okay. Can you just te- can you just message us if we know you or not? Yeah. Because we just need to know if we... And same with Michael Ch- I'm sure we yeah. know Michael Chang. I'm sure we've run into Michael But if Chang. we need to know, I, I have to know if we know <laughs> the Shearman. Yeah. It can't just be a random guy that we don't know. Okay, so let's hear what Chang has just said. Uh, it's just tennis. It's just tennis. It's just always tennis. It's looking forward to a cracking tennis-themed show. Can't wait for all this silly <laughs> foot tennis to begin. Bring old Wimbledon. I do what? like a bit of silly foot tennis. Yeah. What is silly it's, foot it's tennis? It's foot tennis is the only with the Euros. Yeah. In ah. which Germany are now taking on the Valley against Northern Ireland. Northern Ireland. We have got... Packing the mix to me, man. We have got Alfie watching the he's game. He's messing up out there. I he's taking the edges. I will be updating. And he's going to give us regular Because he realised that a lot Jeremy, of fans are Jeremy probably... Jeremy Corbyn t- was on the field. <laughs> <laughs> he looks no. a bit strange, doesn't he? Yeah. Stare at Horatio. Very good. Very good. Uh, yeah, so people who are thinking, oh no, I can't listen to the show. I'm meant to be watching the Germany Northern Ireland game. Don't You've worry. You've got both. We've got our sports Sport correspondent, Alfie. I will be giving live and only the most important updates throughout the show. Thank very you very good. much. Very good. Good. Well, now that we've got that sorted. Um, I was interrupting you earlier. Yeah. When we got on this train. About so 10 would minutes you like ago. To, would you like to continue? Well, d- remember our school friend. Probably well, into Germany. Germany. What's that? What's that? Oh, throw into Germany. Throw into Germany. Throw into, sorry, sorry, can we confirm sorry. that? Throw into Germany. Yeah, throw, well, it's it's confirmed. Not, it's, it's been thrown now. Oh, it's, it's been, been thrown. thrown. All right, guys, don't worry. It's been thrown. Foul throw or are we all good on that? No, it's all good, actually. Yeah, yeah. Two, two feet on the ground. Nice technique. Yeah, Fantastic. very good. All right. Good. So, um, well, probably one of the funniest EU stories. This was actually about three years ago. So before... Three? Two. Two, 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 two years yeah, ago. Two, two years ago. At our school, we had this one kid called Sam Pibworth. A shout out to, if you're listening, buddy. Sh- yeah, if, P- if Pibbers is listening, shout out. Yeah. Uh, and this was before all the EU debate. This was before the, the it was, referendum. It wasn't even on the surface. It wasn't even on the surface. And he probably had one of the funniest reasons for him to leave the EU. Because yeah. uh, he was in, uh, this is actually told by my friend Milo, who will be listening on the podcast. He cannot listen live because he's on the Trans-Siberian Railway. Yeah. So shout out to you, Milo. How you doing? But in class, Milo was roasting Sam, saying like, why do you want to leave the EU? And he's like, it's bloody ridiculous, bloody ridiculous. <laughs> 
their farming policy is mental. It's a, according because of the EU, you have to have if you have a neighbouring farm, you have to have it four metres away from another me- neighbouring farm's <laughs> fence. I just can't be doing with that. that and was, was, and that. then he was like, Sam, are you, are you a farmer? He's like, no. He wasn't even a farmer. <laughs> he was passionate about leaving the EU because of that one farming regulation, which doesn't affect him. <laughs> I want to hear. Uh, have you have you guys all heard Boris Johnson's like impassioned like defence of the EU? Why do we not get enough Why credit on this, this show for our funny stories? Every time, no, no, me, every great, time man. me and Andrew do a bit, you guys just go on your lap. Go There's nothing. That was a great story. That was oh, 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 fences. Oh, wow. <laughs> that, guy, that guy was so ludicrous. Like, <laughs> oh, how can, how can you're you care the about worst. If he you're wasn't the, the worst. You guys, that was a great one. I've just sent you a video, Andrew, of Boris Johnson's. Defense or not defense, impassionate defense of like leaving the EU. Yeah. It might be worth playing up to the, the speakers. Are you sure? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Is it, um, it's clean. Is it I clean? Hope. I hope. Yeah, it's probably, but it's we all know what Boris is like. Am I right? He's a fun He's just a zany, zany politician. <laughs> uh, Have you heard his thing? His defense of the funny one. No. Okay, this this could bomb, but we'll see. Um, uh, hold on, give me a minute. Um, is this? No, I think I think I might get an advert here. This would be absolutely dreadful. Well, now in the Northern you've, Ireland, you've sent me. I've got, I've got someone saying we import two thirds of our cheese. Is that at all relevant? No. Well, because I found most of the EU debate has actually been skewered by these very minute things. Like I hear too much about fishing. There's too much I, I, fisheries, fisheries uh, tariffs. Don't know what they are, but they don't Tar- sound very no, interesting. Tariffs are important. No, they're yeah. not. This nah, show, that's, if I don't know what they are, how important are they? <laughs> the, 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 the link I sent you yeah. should. I've have got it. I've got it. Shall I play it? The one before the Boris Johnson one's only like 20 seconds long. Yeah, I've got the Boris Johnson okay, go, well, go, go, go. Can we play the bloody Boris yeah, Johnson, okay. please? Hold on, give me a second, let me... Right. Jesus. Listen to how loud I am. <laughs> Isn't that funny? <laughs> right. And we export growing quantities of stuff of all kinds. To Europe we export, I'm proud to say, we export cake. <laughs> in growing quantities, a particularly dense and glutinous kind of chocolate cake, we export from... France. <laughs> France. They love our cake in France. <laughs> <laughs> that's his speech. That is that, a that could, He is the man who was running to be the next prime minister, and that's oh. part of his speech. Cake. That is, that's why. That cake. What? Not definitely. He definitely. No, def- much. He definitely. Definitely. Well, it, it, I'd say if we leave what the is, EU, yeah. he's gonna he's gonna try and like stab Cameron in the back. I don't think he even wants to leave the EU. I think he's doing it because he knows. For a laugh. To, yeah, he's just doing it for for <laughs> for, for, for so but I, I, I do have a, I think one of the greatest selfies ever is that if Donald Trump gets the Republican nomination, uh, wins the presidency and Boris Johnson becomes prime minister. So B- Bernie Sanders and Jeremy Corbyn both lost. I'd love to see like a photo of them together having yeah. a barbecue on some beach somewhere <laughs> in like shorts with like a six pack of tinnies. <laughs> It'd just be the greatest photo ever. It's has like, to be tinnies. Has well. to be tinnies. I'd control. love to see like Bojo and, and Donald's hair like coagulate at the top of their heads <laughs> in a selfie oh. when they go together. <laughs> and, like, they just become this like gelatinous blob of like neoliberal policies. <laughs> the most horrifying thing on all earth <laughs> it oh. would be um, bloody neoliberalism all right guys yeah message in or are you neoliberals <laughs> well, Please, you. Uh, can we have a song andrew of course we can <laughs> two door cinema club there with are we ready what about bob that's good i like that yeah it's good I, I, where, where have the two door cinema club gone are they still oh, they, they've just i guess they're just releasing an album soon yeah Does anyone know no. no, the fellows are from up the road from me, though. Are they? They live in Northern Ireland. Really? Are they Irish? No, oh. Northern Irish, yeah. Oh, I didn't know. Well, that. And the, the, the name of the band comes from uh, the Tudor Cinema yeah. Club, where they first pronounced it. Mm. Cool. Because well, fun fact well, of the, the day. This, ah. year, this year, there's been so many. I know a lot of people talked about it. There's been so many new albums, but I think I've only I've only recently got really into hip hop, and hip hop has great had a great year this year. But like. The the original bands like like the indie rock bands and that kind of lot they've had quite poor albums like Catfish's album was quite disappointing I thought uh, are they original I've only heard of them this year are they have they been out for ages uh, no they, they came out last year basically they had their first album last year I think Catfish indie's yeah. dead no, two rock and roll's dead it's no. just hip hop oh, no. it's hip hop Dreamwave it's gonna come back Young Thug no, no. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, <laughs> avant garde jazz rap <laughs> um, disco metal classic. Like, well, what about the new uh, Chili Peppers album? Um, uh, Grim. Yeah, but these are these are older bands. There's yeah. a lot of new... There, yeah. there is no... I disagree. There's a lot of good stuff coming out. But the Chili Peppers was fairly underwhelming. Really? But I don't, I you really... kind of expect that to be. I mean, you can't expect it to be this original consistently. Because yeah. yeah. there... I've, I read um, Scar Tissue, which is Anthony Kiedis' autobiography. And he's the singer? And, the lead yeah, singer. lead singer. <laughs> yeah. And his life is has honestly been insane. 
he lost his like I can't obviously I can't go into it on the show too much, but he like he lost his virginity to his dad's girlfriend at the age of twelve. Oh my goodness! And that's just like one. Th- Honestly, it's it absolute mate, yeah. <laughs> absolute madness. <laughs> No, uh, have you heard just... of that um, indie band Georgia and Freya? No, because it's not an indie band. It's a shout out to two of my best friends. Oh. <laughs> he's like just—he's so used to the plug-in game now. It's a Switch, <laughs> exactly. Like, this is your oh. last Switch coming up, isn't it? This is my last Switch coming up, indeed. So and you're 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 pa- handing over the torch to handing over the torch young, to this young your young yeah. Yeah. Yes, he is. Who needs to learn how to third wheel? How's it been properly? going, Alfie? Has what been going? The Switch selling. Oh no, you messed up so badly. What? You've I've lost. Got, you've lost money. Yeah, I have lost money. <laughs> he's, look, he's, this whole job is lost. He's paid for this job. Uh, yeah, I'm paying for the rep of being a rep. Yeah, because uh, what, did you I lose, get to post on lose, Facebook. You, people like, oh, look, this guy. Oh, this guy's definitely hit. involved. This guy's king. This guy's, guy's, king, this guy's Did you lose a tenner? I did lose a tenner. And you had to get, and you had you had to get, get your own money out to pay Michael. Yeah, I'm basically enslaved to switch. It's all right. Because you're at the bottom of the pyramid now, but you're quite. I'm quite up the pyramid scheme now. You're a bit of a head. Honestly, the next switch coming up is going to have one man in Igloo. Igloo is a Leamington local, and well, he was a Leamington local. He was raised here. One man is one of the sickest DJs. He's our biggest name. Yeah, he's been our like dream since the thing started. Like, we talk boy. a lot about Switch, but I think some listeners probably don't know what it is. It's just a, it's Switch a club is a, night. Switch is a club <laughs> night. We should have done this <laughs> yeah. a long time long ago. Long time ago. Switch is a club night in the Assembly in, in Leamington Spa. Oh, right. That is absolutely crazy. I'm mean, going to be a brilliant this Friday, 24th of June. Be <laughs> oh, there no. or be square. Wait, will this be your last plug on the show? Mm, no. You'll plug it next show, won't you? Of just course. For, <laughs> just for... Oh. Are you going to be sad to leave Switch behind? I I I'm I'm being I'm obviously to leave Warwick behind. This is like this is a very weird time for me right now. Yeah. Like yeah. grab balls happening right now outside. I'm just like seeing. Wait, that everyone... just, in your accent, that just sounds like a game. Grab ball. Grab ball. Yeah, I thought it was. I thought it was a game. It's like yeah, they're just playing some grab ball outside. So what? How do I say it to make it not sound like a game? Graduation ball. Yeah, but nobody calls it graduation ball. They call it grab yeah, ball. Yeah, but you have to because you're because of my accent because you're speaking the yeah. impaired. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, <laughs> that, that, I, mm, yeah. So, oh, Max is back. Oh, anyway, so, um, yeah, tell us about Grabble, graduation. Grabble, Why, aren't you there? Why aren't you there? I don't know. It just didn't, it didn't seem bit, like I, I felt like the house party we all went to was my grab ball. That was, that was like, that was fun for me. We went to this, um, uh, okay. A house okay. party at the weekend it lasted about three days. That was actually, it was actually insane. Yeah, it was great. It was good it fun. Was insane. I got so weird. So weird. You know, so, so my friend people. Sarah, who's never met you, was yeah. like, is that guy in the propeller hat, like, <laughs> is he purposely being, like, terrifyingly weird? You were in a weird zone. I was so you weird. weird. You were just, just an I odd person. I was so person. weirdly drunk at that. Oh, it's just... It was... It was I was just walking terrifying. around making noises in the... Oh, I, was, I had a lot of... The funniest moment was, like, all the people, like, so a lot of our friends went to the party, but there were a lot of people we didn't know there. Yeah. And at one stage, you walked up to the trampoline. But they're all sitting. Where every single person that you didn't know, pretty much every person that you wouldn't have known, yeah, yeah, was yeah, there. Yeah. Yeah. You walked up like a like a like a dinosaur, like like with your oh, arms sort of I was like. Doing the that Jurassic was the Park theme, theme tune. That was the theme. No, my favorite moment of the whole night was when somebody let one of the dinosaur balloons go, and we all just went. Is that that's not the theme tune. That is not the theme tune. That is not the theme tune at all. No, you didn't do it. It was it was. Fossilized. <laughs> <laughs> How, how's the game going, Alfie? Uh, quite good. We've had some great foreign so far. How many have we had? Who's, who's we in this? Um, the Northern just Ireland, the, Germany, just the whole game. Yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah. The, just football wins a day. Wait, yeah. so do you, you don't support Northern Ireland, even though you're Northern Irish? No way. Because I'm a sectarian, tribalistic, Mad scum bag. bad boy. Yeah, all right. No, he honestly, like like I, I, I really do How not care. Not like like I, what? How okay. can you be a tribalistic... Bad boy. boy. Scum oh, boy. Oh, bad boy, sorry. Yeah. And not like football. Yeah. That's so boring. Look at it. It's not about enjoyment. <laughs> <laughs> it's not about... It's, not, it's just about lo- bathing in misery. That's yeah. the point of it. It makes Becoming me so Becoming one with the ball. Yeah. <laughs> like, kicked about. Like, I've just been Rubbed raised in the, the way grass. where it's like, if you're Catholic and Republican, you support the Republic. And if you're... Like a unionist, you support the North. No, that's Ireland. Star Wars. You only support. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, living in Ireland is pretty much like you know living in Star Wars. Yeah, yeah. I'd say so. Yeah, he walks everywhere. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh, we've had some huge news. What? Because um, you've been you've been lying back waiting for this. You just yeah. waiting for this conversation wait to simmer down. He's got show. his legs up. He's playing with the mic. Matt Braxton is messaging. Okay. Oh. 
He says, his real so, name. so for anyone that doesn't remember, this is the guy we greatly suspected of being Michael Chang. Mm -hmm. Other yes. than when we got the Chang messages last week and he was in an exam. Mm -hmm. Matt Braxstone says, hey guys, enjoying the show. I will admit that the first Michael Chang message ever was from me, but someone's been hijacking it since. No. Oh, wow. This goes so deep. The plot thickens. Another volley in the Chang. Saga. Saga. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> just stick so to, just stick to football outfit. <laughs> What's the score? Oh, nil, nil. Yeah. <laughs> oh. 10 to 12 throw-ins. So there could be... <laughs> yeah, we're, we're counting the real scores, the throw-in scores here. <laughs> so Chang could be... Anyone. Many people. Chang is like a syndicate. Like the yeah. it's like a <laughs> the syndicate, Michael Chang a syndicate. syndicate of tennis player and person. Quite similar to the Shakespeare theories. Really, yeah, isn't yeah. It? Like, <laughs> all... Could someone of as humble background as Matt yeah. Braxstone? Is it? Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I it do. Is. I do love our listeners. Um, How do you know he's got a humble background? You just it's that, you just <laughs> from the way he writes. Braxstone. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Brax, <laughs> Bracking stones. He worked in the Bracking yeah. his family a long time ago <laughs> back in the Stones. Could he have been able to write something as sophisticated as we get each week from Michael Chang? Yeah, because Michael Chang is in the Yeah, it's true. I we'll need a cross reference like the old post with all the newer ones. No, yeah. because they're all so weirdly similar. All of the message mm. are very, very similar. It, yeah, no, it's starting to be strange. But also, is Michael Chang's aim to hijack the show? Because a lot of our times now we've taken up with Michael Chang. He's starting to like, because this show's descended from having well organized bits to being. Yeah. Really? Discussing Michael <laughs> Yeah. Really? What are we like? Well, we, we never are. organize anything because we're, we're crazy. We're, we're, Michael we're, Chang is a metaphor for the growing insanity in the center of this room. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. The Chang phenomenon. Do you think, yeah, I don't think Michael Chang's real. I think it's just, it's, he's more of an, he's an metaphor. Idea. Yeah, yeah, an idea. You can't conceptualize you, Michael Chang because that defeats um, the purpose of Michael Chang. <laughs> I love that he to changed Chang, the Ivan Lendl one Chang. week and then just changed back to Michael Chang. Are you sure that was him, no. though? Oh. Well, who else no, would be No, because he could have been one of the Tennis Academy boys. Yeah. Well, who else would be impersonating other tennis players? Michael Chang is a tennis, tennis player from the, the tennis Academy Oh, this is boys. exhausting. This is exhausting. Right, so what were we on about? What were we on about? We were, talk oh, we were talking about... Um, football. The football and partying. But, partying. like, now exams are finished, the whole... It's just, we've gone to this kind of weird schedule because mornings are no longer a thing. No. I, I'm I usually a morning person and yeah. I've just obliterated mine. It's, it, the whole schedule and the sleeping patterns has completely reversed. I don't eat. Yeah, Al Andrew doesn't even eat, eat anymore. anymore. He's stopped eating. It's because I because you just think, yeah, we'll do, we'll be able to go to Tesco all the time. Yeah. We'll all that, but you just don't. You don't. You're actually busier. Yeah, yeah. In a weird yeah. way. In a weird I had way, some you're dry pasta today, but that's about it. Yeah. Well, you, you mean hard pasta it. or dry pasta? It, no, it's from. Because <laughs> I could, I could see, I could see Alfie sitting in his kitchen just eating hard pasta. Well, so. that'd be yeah. quite nice. It'd be like crisp. No, it wouldn't. But don't lie. Don't lie. It's all cool. It would your teeth. Is that what you were laughing at? Is what that is what that? you were going That's really... funny. No, it is. It is kind Obliterate of funny. It wouldn't teeth. obliterate your teeth. I've eaten hard pasta. I've eaten hard pasta. It's not nice, but it's just, there's no such thing as a meal time. No. It's anymore. Because I, I now have slunch most of the time. Slunch? Yeah. What's that? That's like five o'clock, four o'clock, supper lunch. Supper lunch. Yeah, that's... Linner. that's, that's, that's Lina. Lina. We'll, we'll work Michael's just left. Michael's literally just left the Michael's studio. Michael's just walked Off out. Off for some slump. He honestly didn't say anything. That was terrible radio. Where's yeah. he gone? Can you see him at the window? He's taking so many liberties now. Well, I'm not going to go out and get him. To play That's a song, like we we'll find him. Oh, oh hold on. The, the whole thing's just reset. All right. um, yeah. We're going to have to choose the song. As soon as he walks the, out of the room. Right, we're going to do a group decision for the song on the B list. Because we All have right. to play one of these. Okay, read them out. Uh, we've already played the Mr. Jets. Uh, Margaret Glassby, you and I. Go for it. The <laughs> uh, I've never I'm kind of interested in the joy formidable do radio of lips. Uh -oh. I do. I like Isella. lips and I like radio. Wait, do you want to play on. this song and oh. then introduce her? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll play this and then we'll come back. <laughs> radio. Cheers for that, Sadiq. Uh, the studio's exploding. We've got. This is the most people <laughs> we've had in a room at once. We <laughs> have Michael's girlfriend. Ella. And, 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 oh, a name. Yeah, and a name's Ella a as name. well. Yeah. Ella McLeod. Oh. Thank you. Finally in the studio. Uh, we, I do hey. like your surname, Ella. Really? We know yeah. McLeod. McLeod. Yeah. I've had we so many McLeod. awkward, awkward situations with my surname. Well, well this is the best chance to tell yeah. us about it. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the radio. And also, I've got, because we've got Ella sitting on Michael's lap, and then I've got Max sitting <laughs> on mine. Say hello, Max. Hello. This is Max, everyone. This is Max, everyone. <laughs> 
<laughs> look how happy he is <laughs> to be on her eight shows lap. Yeah, yeah, look, this is a really. It, Why I don't would, I have I would, anyone re- sitting on my lap? I would recommend coming to the studio, uh, looking on the webcam now. Because uh, I'm not actually on his lap. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Even though it's radio, you can't just <laughs> lie to <laughs> you're meant to block. the listeners. Oh, I'm about Kanye West. I'm about, I'm about integrity. Yeah, it's about truth, integrity on the show. On the radio. <laughs> so how are we all? We, we all good. good. We all we good. What are you doing, Kanye? Yeah. What, what was that, Alfie? Kanye West sitting on my lap. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. What, what about is... truth and integrity? No, that's not Alfie's game. That's not. That's not how he plays the radio game. Play it dirty. Um. So. Did you have awkward stories? Oh yeah, well, we love certainly. an awkward story. Well, it's just, it's just the like usual. Well, firstly, no one ever pronounces it right. How well do they done. It? How do they do it? McCloy. 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 I like me. What is Ella that? McCloy. Just just to piggyback on this briefly, my name has produced so much. Like people just <coughs> really? throw letters into my name. So back home, I've been called Hadan, Hadai, <laughs> Hadid, Hadid. Hadid. Yeah, Hadid. Sounds like conjugated. That's how you introduced me. <laughs> Everyone was like, "Oh, it's Hadid, Michael Hadid. Hadid," and I was like, "Is he related to Gigi Hadid? Do yeah. I need to be excited?" <laughs> well, I mean, God, it's the a, worst it thing. Amy. The worst thing is Alfie, who's been working very intensely with me. And Andrew, we spent a lot of time together. <laughs> Wait, Still, stop. Yeah, say our surnames. Do it now. Uh, Gold and Kerwin. Okay, it's you, got Gould, you got one right. right. You know, it's Gould and Kerwin, and you <laughs> go. All right, yeah, just popping on a Gold and Kerwin show. But that's because they they seem easy, they seem easy, but they're not. They seem easy, but they're not. How do you do this? To <laughs> well, we don't. I don't always greet you as. Gold, Kerwin. <laughs> no, you say no, gold, gold Kirwan. <laughs> Am I right, fellas? Yes, yes you are. Uh, also, shout, yes. quickly shout out to Ben McLeod if you're listening. Yeah, that was what you're trying to get. Does he have the same, yeah, the same, the same issue? Same. How fascinating. He does. It's, for him, it's usually McLeod. McLeod, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just well, quite well, a stressful just, spelling. Yeah, it's it quite is a stressful spelling. Why do you do it? Yeah. I choose it. <laughs> but it's just an issue because I have so many... I've always had like a friend come up who's kind of part Scottish and been like, oh, Ella, we're probably related. And oh, I'm black, so <laughs> no, we're not. What? I'm, I know, You're black. so we're not. No. And then I have to explain <laughs> to them. Black home. <laughs> so then I have to explain to them like, so there was this thing called colonialism oh, and yeah. the slave trade. Yeah. And that's why we have the same surname. So we're not related. Yeah. Like, you you own tell me. them. It was a fun topic. Keep it light, that's what I mean. It's, more, it's just funny. <laughs> It is funny because you watch their faces and like the yeah. delighted smile just slides slowly. Or weirdly, sometimes yeah. it goes up and that's when you start questioning it. So. <laughs> um, um, Max, <laughs> tell us about Kennedy. That's the same name as a US president. JFK. Yeah. Yeah. Shot in the the history. History. yeah, I'm actually JFK's dad. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Um, Did me. you kill him? <laughs> And That's then Alfie. 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 We've been we slowly building up to that question. Stop being weird. <laughs> yeah, true. Integrity. Integrity. Didn't kill JFK. Yeah, Kennedy. Those are your yeah. big three. Your big three things. <laughs> well, uh, there was something I wanted to ask you about, Ella, because the, do you think this is a good time to plug Mind the Gap? Oh, this yeah, could be a good yeah, time do, to plug do Mind, the Gap. Mind the Gap. So, um, Mind the Gap started because Hope and I, Hope Barker, shout yeah. out. Shout out. Um, got quite frustrated with the way a lot of things will run within Warwick drama. Yeah, yeah. There are lots of really great things about it and we're both very heavily involved, yeah. but there is a lack of diversity. Um and it is like a clique, which I think is probably true of most societies, but Definitely, like we should yeah. be trying to change that. So yeah. that's how it started with us coming together and being like, okay, let's like make a real effort to to outreach and mm-hmm. to plug. Yeah. And um it was a struggle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um and then we did decade. With, yes. which is written who, by... Who wrote that again? Who, who wrote Decade? Oh, we've got, I, 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 I wrote that one. And who yeah. <laughs> started in Decade? Guilty! That was me and Ella. Who started in Decade? And who helped in some of the script in Decade? That was Horatio. Was Horatio. And who yeah. filled in Decade? It was that was Andrew. Andrew. And who came to see Decade? He didn't Not see me. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No. So, <laughs> it's me. I wrote, starred, directed, I did it all. Integrity. Did not kill JFK. And wrote Decade. And wrote the big four. So Decade, Decade's now become a kind of like I guess kick kickstarter project with for the with the, com- the gap. for mind the gap is that so a company that's yeah I mean that that is what we've it's it happened so accidentally at least for me we kind of woke up one day and we're like oh we founded a theater company like this is fun oh, okay um but yeah so it's it's been really really fun and really exciting and interesting yeah, that yeah. Does so we're cool. just hoping to take it further to like NSDF and Edinburgh yeah. Festival. Mm. the new national student drama, drama festival oh, someone yes. knows his stuff oh, oh, he's done cultured. his research so 
We're, we're 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 breathing rare air right now. Yeah. Right? yeah. Look at all these like look at all these cultural uh, not cultural like creatives yeah. Yeah, in the one, in one room together. Oh, wow. So much Just talent. Talent. Oh, I was gonna say that. Given it, uh, <laughs> in I, 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 I was, I had to move to go to closer <laughs> to the mic, and by the time I it's had, because of your position on Horatio's lap, it, truth, he's <laughs> <laughs> integrity. <laughs> Uh, no, because this is the thing. Now we've got Max and Mike in the same room. It's a pretty, it's actually a nightmare hanging out with both these people because uh, they're both the worst people for their reference game. Yeah. Just yeah. constantly quoting something and never having an actual conversation. Yeah. But the just thing saying, is, the just thing is, jumping off each quote. Like, so, so, quoting. So, <laughs> so <laughs> me and Max are a member of a very elite Don't gang do it. called. Don't do it. That's a bird! That's a bird! No, okay, so Horatio cannot say it. We say tossle boys in a silly way. We go, that's a bird! That's a bird! Horatio goes, that's a bird! I can't like, do it. it. Yeah. I can't. Awful. That's a bird! I can't he's get it. He's not making it up. I can't get it. Is this like a rap collective? Uh, no, it's just it's like we more we see each other. Yeah. It's just sad. It's more and a it's signal. Just more crimes. It's just really yeah. sad. Yeah, yeah. We're more into heists. A crime We're more of a heist gang. Yeah. Like Strictly that. heists. <laughs> um, Mike Branch out. So, so, yeah. Yeah. Well, think about rap. Is the we'll criteria consider. for being a member of the Tossel Boys just um, having very niche quotes up your sleeve? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is that only Mainly boys? Mainly probably so living in Tossel. <laughs> uh, Tussle's one of the universities. Do you see gender uh, in Tussle yeah, Boys? Yeah, Michael does. It, Michael sees it. We everywhere. don't do anything with it. We don't like to see it. Mm. Ooh. 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 Heist. Mm. Wait, how do you speak of diversity? Is the 20th, our 20th show, and Ella is the first woman on the show. Ah. Am I also the first black person? No, we had Taha. He's not black. <laughs> He's not, no, I, re oh, I realized God. halfway through oh, saying that. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. We can't even to, say to, that. To just we do can't like five, just, to just, minutes of airtime. Don't worry, I'll, just, I'll, just, I'll edit that out. To just <laughs> everyone's sphincters have just collectively, collectively tightened. Tight <laughs> that was that was one Spink of the most yeah, painful, painful moments of my life. Let's take the piss out of an I. Uh, Can you stop pee -pee? saying the p word? Sorry, let's take. What's the p word? Piss. Max. Oh, Max. Max. Let's all take a break. Yeah. Cool off. We'll be back. Red Hot Chili Peppers there with Road Tripping. Yeah, that was some of the old stuff. Some of the good stuff. Some of the good stuff, the better you asked me, Andrew. The better time. Uh, well, I, I we've got... Do... Oh, I we do... just discussed this. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Yeah, I just want to do a brief shout out again to Georgia and Freya because they got very mad at me for not turning them out enough. And to my friend Seb, who's listening now. Seb has just said that he's very disappointed he's not one of the Tossel boys. He thinks he could have created, he could have added something to the dynamic. But he also said that he's a master of one of those sphincter clenching moments. And I remember, like, when I was in second year, he gave like a he gave his like PhD or no his master's thesis speech, yeah, which was one of the most like. So he did. I don't know what he wrote on. I think he wrote on Batman. I've no idea. Okay. He, he got up and spoke like freestyle for the, for ten minutes, and he would just say, "And you know, we need to think about Nietzsche, and with that, <laughs> yeah. we need to think about you know Heidegger." <laughs> and at the same time, you know, Einstein plays into this, and he listed off names for ten minutes, and did no like, link, it, no link. It made no sense. It was it was one of the greatest trolls I've ever seen. He got in so much trouble with his department because this was. Oh, so he did it on purpose? <laughs> no, I, I don't know. You can never really tell what Seb's doing. Like, okay, that's but Seb. It, he just literally got Is up. Seb, the one writing on Cougar Garden WWE. Yeah, wrestling at the moment. Amazing. So, uh, anyway. Shout out to Seb. Yeah, but just talking about sphincter clenching moments, uh, at my, uh, talking about in front of uh, like a, a, a audience at my sister's school, oh there was um, someone who was doing a presentation on their laptop, so they would connected to like a projector, oh. and so this is in front of the whole school. Oh god! And then he's just going on the internet, he's just doing it. No. <laughs> he types some pee on the internet. No. Pornhub comes oh, up. Oh, well, that's not too bad. Why? What are you thinking? Does, does, does the website actually? Yeah, Pornhub came oh, on. That's kind of rough. And then it clenched it's his sphincter. <laughs> <laughs> and that's then he went to the microphone. My sphincter has been clenched and yeah. left. It'd be worse if it like came up as an already like if a page was on a, on a specific video. Oh wow! And just like and you're just in the niche of what his sexual into. fetishes. Yeah. Oh wow. Uh, we've got a very good impressionist in Max in the studio. Uh, uh, so wait, so wait, an impressionist <laughs> or an impersonator? I'm a painter. <laughs> <laughs> a dabble. Which which impression was that? Um, that that was Shrek. Oh, I get to see. He's good. He's good. <laughs> uh, I, one of my favourites yours is uh, Michael Caine. Can we get a bit of Caine up in here, please? Yeah, you can get a bit of <laughs> Michael Caine on the radio. Now, when you listen to Warwick Radio FM, 
you've got to be very careful that you listen for the whole show and not just a bit of it. No, no you're quite angry. You're quite angry, Michael. I want more <laughs> listeners. <laughs> this show deserves more listeners and it's just not... You're quite sad, Michael. I just want this show. <laughs> yeah, more listeners. All right. Uh, Hello to more. Studio Captain Jack Sparrow. Hello, I want to give him listeners and welcome to the show. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That was, yeah, great. That, right? that was really good. More. I'm just looking at him and I'm having a lovely time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. this is fun. This is fun. This is fun. Great yeah. Give me more. Um, can we hear? You had a good one of Andrew, didn't you? This is the first time. This, right. this is so good. This is the first time I've heard it. Yeah. <laughs> Ask me how last night was. How was last night, Andrew? Oh my god. <laughs> 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 He's got such an impression of all boys as well. That so is so spot on. Oh, so spot on. He has this sort of Alan Partridge side to him. Yeah. There's definitely <laughs> some Partridge in there. That is amazing. Uh, I like um, that. What, what, there was a, what other uh. did you have up your sleeve? You had, uh, let's get some Al Pacino up in here. I don't think I can do Al Pacino. Al Pacino is just like, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, no, it's good. What do you got? Yeah. <laughs> um, well, you obviously got to walk in. Everyone's got to walk in. Yeah, I was going to make a joke about walking in and then it doesn't work on radio. We can't actually hear you on the mic and speaking so quietly. That's probably good. Right. Uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't think that my Christopher Walken is quite as good as Michael's, <laughs> but I think I'll give it a go anyway. <laughs> What's your best impression? Or give me like one of the best. Um, the Joker from Batman, I can yeah, do. Let's oh, do it. Let's do it. cool. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> cool. We got a kill man. Wicked. Get it out. <laughs> well, it's simple. We kill the Batman. That's oh, sick. That's cool. that's I, really I didn't look at him for that, so I felt like the Joker was in my headphones. I assume you got a bane. Um, I mean, we're really putting him on the spot here. Yeah, I feel like does anyone else want to? No, no. Give just, one again. No. This Wait. is Gotham's wreck. <laughs> <laughs> I have to just jump in. What's, what's that ratio? I'm sorry, I had Do to. Do you have any there. messages? Um, no. No, got on. No messages. I think everyone's. I guess everyone's a grab ball, so we're narrowing it down. Grab ball. Grab ball. That's grab ball. Can play <laughs> fair. Yeah, I'm interested to know what what is involved in grab ball. You, if it were was a game. Oh, if you oh, just grab ball. A fella in my school couldn't think of. Uh, we had to do like sports presentations in school, and a fella in school. Um, Lovely fella. He, he obviously wasn't very sporty, so he made up two sports, and I tried to pass them off as real things. Really? So the first one was fackball, <laughs> which was um, basketball on ice, but you're not allowed to move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then, and then the other one, and then the one was sledge hockey. Sledge, I don't know. sledge hockey? What's sledge hockey? I don't know sledge why hockey. you think these are made up. <laughs> no, sledge no, hockey I was, was just like... Sledge hockey guy. <laughs> yeah. Just, I, I guess, just playing hockey, but in like a pop Wait, sled. Go, go back the to the first one. one. Yeah, go back to the first one. You're still on ice, throwing a ball around. I have, literally, Do you have skates on? His first line Do was, they it's, it? it's like basketball on ice, but you're not allowed to move. And we all just, we, we died laughing. Because no. we were like, well, we Becky, this is not true. Next rule, social. I guess you can move your arms. No, I don't. That's... And what about sledge hockey? Well, I don't know. Like, hockey with a sledge. He didn't really get yeah. far into his presentation Boys, we, until we, it was we, ridiculed. We found the mixed sledge hockey society. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Mixed sledge. I'm more interested in it. Yeah. yeah. No, but we'll, still found it. Your pray. Legacy. Oh, because Max and Michael leaving. How We're going. Yeah. How does it feel to leave, Max? Yeah. Tell us about your emotions on the show. Oh, it's been an emotional roller coaster. Man. Yeah. I bet <laughs> first, man. first there was the uh, the sadness. Yeah. Yeah. And then that more more of that. And it still hasn't gone. Um, so I just waited now for the roller coaster to just go go back up. Okay. It's, it's bad, man. I got it bad. It's it bad. Is a, it is a weird time though for us, I guess. Like, cause like just I think like seeing everyone like a grab ball and stuff is just like a bizarre. You can't shut up it's still, about grab ball. It still sounds like a, a game. I grab can't ball. stop thinking. Especially about grab ball. Brad Ball. Seeing people going off and getting jobs and stuff is very scary as well. Yeah. I've got nothing, I don't know what yeah. I'm doing. Hey, Michael. You might be working for my dad. Yeah, that's yeah. the goal. <laughs> uh, Peter Gould, you are Pete cool Gould. and fantastic person. I, I love giving I people him. jobs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's yeah, the score? Can I, can I get a job while we're? Uh, yeah, yeah, no. What Pete about me? Seventeen from Indian. Ratio is this the people that urinated in the plant? Yes, that was. Oh, him. legend! He's a legend. <laughs> your future employer. My second exactly. favorite gold. Do you think? Oh, oh, oh. Who's your favorite? Who's your favorite? <laughs> Not you, Max. Uh, Max Gould, <laughs> yes. very clever, very clever. <laughs> yes, I knew, I knew I had it in me. 
I'm afraid to say, I think we're getting near the end of the show, guys. Well, this have show, we, we, we've had so many bloody people in here. Oh, no, it's definitely been a loud place. <laughs> <laughs>